Welcome to part two of your reading for this period, Leo. And once again, happy birthday to all of my fixed. signs of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay? Jumping right back in, your oracle card for your overall energy is I follow my inner guidance. Okay? And we're going to jump right back into your current conflict for this period. You guys have seven of wands, six of wands, and the empress in reverse, okay? We have double double confirmation for the empress. One is reversed and one is upright, okay? Definitely believe this is your energy here. And your current energy the Empress came out to clarify the Six of Pentacles. So somebody sees you, Leo, as a very nurturing, loving, giving person. All right. This reading has a set of counterparts, the Empress and the Emperor. Okay. I do believe that someone is coming back into your life, Leo. Remember, the energies can be reversed, so take it as it resonates with you and your person or situation. Okay. There's possibly a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, or an Emperor, Aries energy, Divine Masculine energy, okay, that did not provide the King of Cups energy for you in the past because clarifying the King of Cups was the Page of Cups, okay? Clarifying the Emperor was the Two of Wands. So there has been some indecision and there has been a lack of respect and recognition in a certain situation, okay? But the current conflict for you, Leo, or for the person that's coming in is that you impress. Taurus, Virgo, Venus energy here, divine feminine energy, may not be willing to pour out your fertile intentions, your love, or you may not want to manifest anything in regards to this, this partner coming in because of past conflicts and indecision and someone in your life is frustrated they believe that they may be um, too late to manifest this this uh, connection but they are willing to fight and defend The connection they're ready to fight for your love and to win back your confidence because this is fire energy here seven of wands six of wands aries sagittarius leo someone um wants to bring recognition to you See the people in the uh, balcony. 
someone is willing to battle for a victorious union, this could be marriage, this could be a proposal, this could be just a reconciliation, but someone wants to break the barriers and come forward, okay? Someone's not willing to let this connection go. Leo. Okay, we're going to clarify. <clears throat> Let's clarify. The Empress in Reverse. Three of Swords. Three of Swords. Air Energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There has possibly been some um, third party situations or some betrayal um, in love in the past for you, Leo. Um, this person may have caused you, you know, grief. They may have rejected you in the past. There may have been some deception, but with the, um, so your swords in reverse, clarifying the Empress in reverse, somebody wants you to forgive them somebody um has clarity and they have went within and they want to renew this connection or maybe this could be you you know wanting to forgive or being at the point where you have recovered and are open to um at least talking things out um but i really take this as that as if um Someone wants to pull a Lazarus and they want to um, change your mind about the past with this clarifying the Empress in reverse. Okay. Clarify the Seven of Wands and the Six of Wands, please. hanged man okay to me the hanged man um, as a reader is uh, Sagittarius energy so far we have three major arcana Man's astrological correspondence is Neptune. Okay, so possibly Pisces or Sagittarius energy here. Um, this is clarifying the Six of Wands and the Seven of Wands. This person coming in, or possibly Yulia, want to end old ways. They are trying to release any of their past actions that has held them back from you and from this connection. They have been reflecting and they have been trying to manifest change in their life and more importantly they have been trying to manifest you leo someone is not giving up on you no matter what they are willing to sacrifice okay toxic behaviors toxic people and they are taking the time to let go let the universe work in their life because they 
have a whole new perspective and they're surrendering to the universe possibly awakening but more than anything they're surrendering to their emotions okay in the past they have not but they can't take it any longer you you are making this person and like I said this is a divine connection you have the counterparts you have the empress you have the emperor you have the six of wands And Leo, you're going to have to follow your inner guidance in, in regards to this. Okay? But somebody is taking advice from the divine in regards to you. And you're going to have to go within and do the same in terms of what you'll accept. Okay? So the hanged man is clarifying the Six of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Bottom of the deck. Queen of Wands, okay? Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, energy, fire energy. This is you, Leo, okay? <laughs> Embodying the Queen of Wands energy, okay? Queen of Wands, okay? The intuitive one. The creative one. Leos are so creative. Okay? Passionate. Can be intimidating in a good way. Maybe you intimidate this person, Leo. Maybe in the past you have. They were intimidated by your intuition and how much you could see right through them and how much um, light you embodied. They ran from your power, but they are not willing to let you go. They're not willing to run from what it is that they see in you, okay? If anything, they want to follow your guiding light, your passion. They admire your intuition and your grace This is so beautiful, okay? What action will Leo be taking during this period? What action will Leo be taking? What action are my Leos? Divine Spirit, what action? Leo be taking. Wow. The Page of Cups came out twice. One for the overall energy, clarifying that King of Cups, someone was not making a clear offer in love. Someone was not, you know, seeing past illusions. Someone was um, not inspired by a connection, wasn't giving their all in love. And then now we have the page of cups, Piscean energy, but water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have two pages of cups out here. Okay. But you have the page of cups now in your action. And the Page of Cups in reverse came out with the world and the fool, okay? So this is the end of a, con um, a, end of a cycle for you, Leo, okay? Things may not have, you know, been perfect in the past. And there may have been some heartache and disappointments. And a lot of work put into a situation that you felt was not 
producing the fruits of your labor. But this is an end of a, of a cycle and The wheel is turning in your favor and all of your hard work is going to pay off. With the page of cu cups in reverse in terms of your action, I feel like Leo are going to take anyone coming into your life, any offers coming into your life, you are going to not be impulsive in making any decisions. You have in the past been pure in accepting things at face value, open to new beginnings, but you have been through a lot Three of Swords. And you're just not willing to be vulnerable. You may also feel that whatever's coming in may be Cloaked. So you're going to be cautious, put it that way. Cautious with any offers that are coming in. The Wheel of Fortune's astrological correspondence is Jupiter. Jupiter is currently retrograde in Sagittarius, your fellow fire sign. But Jupiter goes direct August 11th. And as we all know, when Jupiter goes direct, it's going to leave some sort of abundance, some sort of reward. The Wheel of Fortune shows the opportunity is abundant. All things have a cycle, good and bad. One makes you appreciate the other and each can offer new options to a situation faced. But upright, this means luck, good karma, and a destiny being fulfilled. Okay? You also got the full. This is Aries energy here, more fire. You are willing to take a leap of faith. And as The wheel turns and a cycle's end. You're ready to take a leap of faith. Whether this is on yourself, on your path, on love. This is your season, Leo. So you are ready to harness some new ideas. Harness some new ideas. Uranus is the correspondent of um, astrological correspondent of uh, the fool. So, yes, definitely open to some new approaches to old situations. You're ready for a whole new journey. A little cautious here with the Page of Cups. And this could be someone coming in a little bit cautious because, you know, you're a whole new person now. You've been through a lot. It's a whole new cycle. You are free to be your grand creative self. I think you're embodying this energy. You just have faith in what's to come. You feel free. And you may be a little reserved but the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor Leo and whatever you decide the choice is up to you 
okay? You can't lose either way. You feel like there's so much potential and opportunity and adventure that is waiting for you. Use your discernment and your intuition and your inner guidance when it comes to the choices that you make. I do believe that there is a group of Leos who are in a divine twin flame connection or soulmate connection because we did get the counterparts here the emperor and the empress someone <clears throat> was hesitant and giving you the recognition that you deserve or vice versa someone was at a crossroads someone couldn't decide what they wanted someone was um, involved in third-party situations someone had repressed emotions and was not free to love and was bound by their own inability to express their emotions toward you or this could be you but there is a change someone is letting go the divine is stepping in and someone wants victory Three of Wands. Someone is coming in to claim victory over a situation. And once again, guys, I gotta put this back up again. Someone's ready to take a leap of faith. A leap of faith and I said this was the wheel of fortune before I apologize it's the world card they look pretty similar in the steampunk deck um, but the astrological correspondence to the world is Saturn okay Saturn is retrograde in the sign of Capricorn the world is the final destination of your journey you have a deeper understanding of your role in the universe and all your efforts have come full circle. Okay? So, the universe is stepping in. Someone has awakened. Someone is aware of your worth. Someone sees you as their fulfillment and is ready to take a leap of faith towards a divine connection. And Leo, you are going to follow your inner guidance. And in doing so, you can't go wrong. During this period, I do feel as though there is clarity coming in for this new journey that my Leos are about to take. Okay. <clears throat> I just want to clarify the, the fool in the world. Clarify the fool in the world for my Leos. 
find the fool in the world. Let's clarify the fool in the world. That fell right on top of both. Seven of Cups. And the fool. <laughs> I can't get any better than this. Fire energy here. Double confirmation right on top of the fool. Oh my gosh. Leo. A whole new beginning. This is amazing. Oh my God. A whole new way of thinking. A whole new way of being. The fool is a spirit of innocence in all of us as we begin our journey. This is the beginning or the end. Okay? Like I told you, somebody's coming back. Someone's coming back to see your worth, to give you recognition. Someone sees you as their world, their stars, and everything in between. Someone is not willing to let you go, and they're coming in, balanced, ready to give you love, okay? But in relation to the fool, each position marks the start of new beginnings where we are free to be creative, have boundless faith, and freely embrace opportunity. Whether it's, you know, a divine union or a soulmate coming back or someone new coming in or a new career opportunity or a promotion or a engagement or a marriage, there is new beginnings starting and it is beautiful. The Fool came out to clarify the Fool. Okay, Aries energy, fire energy. That is beautiful. And then, of course, the Seven of Cups in reverse. So, to me, the Seven of Cups in reverse just, just clarifies that you're coming out of past conditionings and illusions and you're seeing things clearly and you're moving forward with nothing standing in your way end of cycle the beginning of a cycle it doesn't get any more clear than this Perfect, Aries. I'm sorry. <laughs> All this Aries energy with this uh, fool being doubly confirmed. But this is beautiful, Leo. Gosh, this is going to be a great, great Leo season. I just feel it. I feel it in my bones. I'm a Leo Mars. I have my Mars in Leo. So energetically, I feel you guys. Okay? <laughs> I feel you guys. I feel the passion of my Leos. Okay. We're going to get some advice from the universe here, from the divine. Follow my inner guidance. Wow. I love that card for you guys. I love that card for you guys. What else did it say in there that I loved about that? Um, yeah, it's a card with number 32. Broke down to five. Building your castle in the sky. Following your inner guidance. Leo. Okay, advice for my videos. Advice for Leos here from the divine. What advice? 
can I leave my that was way too many what advice oh, that was right on top so I'll take that but that was I'm not gonna take that whole pile of cards <clears throat> what advice can I get from the divine for my Leo's during their birthday season and during this period advice for my videos okay <clears throat> the lovers this is double confirmation that there's this is a divine connection that I'm picking up on for a lot of my Leos okay some of my Leos are finding the victory with that Emperor in their self-love and businesses they're getting the victory. They're getting the recognition. This is the end of a cycle in finances. But I get heavily that this is a divine connection between an emperor and an empress. Leo, you are an emperor or an empress and you have a divine connection with someone who did not see your worth. But that is coming in with help from the divine to... charge in and claim this connection I have not seen a lot of air in this reading okay lots of pentacles lots of fire so someone is willing to invest someone is willing to move forward without hesitation with passion Okay, and we do have some water in this reading as well. So someone is feeling balanced. They have come full circle. They are coming in with love. And now we have some um, air energy with the Gemini card here, the lovers. A union that's faded and blessed by the divine this is a blessed faded union between Leo and possibly another fire sign Leo Aries Sagittarius or a Leo and an earth sign Virgo Taurus Capricorn Or Leo, you could definitely have some earth placements and vice versa. Wow. Lovers. The Empress, again, the Empress has come out three times in this reading. So, Leos, you guys are embodying this energy. You guys are abundant. You guys are manifesting. You guys are stable and someone sees you as their goddess, as someone that they want to build with, someone that they want to give their all to, possibly have children with. Someone is absolutely enamored by you, Leo. The divine is telling you to follow your heart, continue to grow and build. <clears throat> Knight of Cups. Someone is coming in with the offer of love. Someone is coming in inspired and ready to fulfill you and help you heal.
or someone is coming in seeing you as their safe space, someone that can help heal them. But there is love coming, there is inspiration coming, support, more water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ace of Cups in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. In the past, someone, this came out together, wow. In the past, someone, someone was repressing their love and their emotions. There was separation, okay? And there was vulnerability or fear of that. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. There was chaos and resistance. Okay. But that's all changed now. That's all changed now because. Oh my God, I cannot make this up, Leo. That's all changed now because someone has gotten balanced in their emotions. Someone has went within, hang man. Someone is ready to take a leap of faith, double confirmation, the fool and the world. There has been a completion. And someone is coming in, Knight of Wands, passionately claiming, proclaiming, <laughs> proclaiming and claiming their love for you, their passion for you. This is fire energy here. Leo Sagittarius, um, Aries, possibly another Leo definitely fire or someone embodying this energy they're coming in determined maybe a little impulsive but they're coming okay to claim proclaim their love for you they're not willing to let you go this time because you are their two of cups you balance this person or vice versa they want partnership with you they love you like without you they're not in good health they are wanting complete balance they feel unworthy about their past but they cannot hold back on this connection any longer you are their two of cups and they are coming so the divine is confirming that you are someone's empress and you are abundant and you are manifesting your dreams and the divine is telling you that this is a blessed connection. Blessed, faded connection. You are a star. I'm sorry, you are a sky full of stars for someone and in someone's eyes. Wow. 
what everything for my Leos. So you guys need to follow your inner guidance in regards to this connection and have faith in your intuition and um, and trust yourself. Whatever you decide, whether it's self-love, whether it's, you know, this connection, you're going to be supported by the universe, Leo. This was such a beautiful reading. That's all I have for my beautiful Leos. I love connecting with all of you. Your energy is so contagious. Throughout this whole reading, I just felt so pumped up. Like, you know, just... Leos have a way of just getting you to open up, getting you to share. Leos love recognition. They love attention. And they love love. You know, someone is recognizing you and they're coming back full force to claim you, Leo. All right. I hope that all of you guys are going to have a blessed and prosperous Leo season. I leave you all with my peace and love. Like, share, comment if the reading resonated with you in any way. And, um, you know, subscribe if, um, if um, you would like to, you know, go further and to um, any facets of this reading. And um, there are cold and dark nights every single day of the year. We all know that life can be difficult and sometimes we're faced with difficult choices. But even in the twilight of the darkest and coldest night of December, remember, you'll be fine. Nothing can stop was truly divine. Bye Leos, take care.